I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but I really like shotguns. And while there has been a couple of Nerf shotguns over the years, I don't think any of them have really matched the cool factor of the N-Strike barrel break. Of all the blasters they could put out in the Icon line that have been upgraded to elite internals and work a lot better, this would have been my first choice. And because of how cool the barrel break is, a lot of people want mods of it. But unfortunately, because of how terrible the internals are, there aren't a lot of mods for it. But what if I were to tell you that probably the best barrel break mod came a very long time ago, and shockingly enough, it's still one of the best shotguns in the entire hobby? And what if I were to tell you that I have my hands on it? This is a blaster I have lusted after since before I even had a YouTube channel. This is what inspired me more than anything to get into this hobby. And thanks to Bobololo for selling it to me because now I own the Panther shotgun. I'd love to tell you everything about this beauty, but first we have a sponsor. This video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Jump into a realistic dark fantasy world with Raid Shadow Legends. You can use my link down in the description below to download and play Raid Shadow Legends for free on Android, iOS, and even your PC. Challenge yourself to the edge in the ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire Raid community while fighting in the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak, the Almighty Fire Knight, or the Notorious Dragon in order to win awesome rewards and rare artifacts. Did you know that Raid has 16 different factions? Each one of the hundreds of champions in Raid that you can acquire come from one of these factions, such as Elves, Dwarves, Orcs, Undead Armies, and much, much more. My favorite? The Sacred Order. I mean, look at the Mistress of Hymns. Not only does she wield a sword bigger than herself, but she can heal her allies, bring them back from the dead, and buff everybody's defense. But if that wasn't enough for you, if you start playing the game using my link in the description below, as a new player, you'll gain yourself 100,000 silver, a one day XP boost, one energy refill, and a free champion, the Adjudicator. A really good champion for beginners because she'll be constantly slowing down the enemy's turn gauge while dealing massive amounts of damage. Good luck and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you very much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Please, 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 please check the link down in the description below and let them know that it's worth supporting nerfers. The Panther Shotgun is an absolutely legendary nerf mod, and I'm amazed how not very many things have ever kept up with this. I hate barrel break. Worthless pieces of crap. Horrible. Bobo Lolo's original video came out years ago, and the entire thing was built mostly by Nerfomania. And yes, it's got exposed tubing, it's got more PVC than blaster, and it's held together with like 17 different types of adhesive. It's also got doodling all over it in Sharpie because it's Bobo's thinking blaster. But the name Panther Shotgun comes from the fact that it has two Busby Panther tanks in it, but not the kind you're probably aware of, but the original Busby Panther tanks with the white inner barrel, which means they have a much larger air capacity than the later releases. These things used to be five bucks each, and now they go for a heck of a lot more because for five bucks and about five minutes of modding, you had yourself a 200 plus FPS pistol. Take two of these bad boys, shove them inside of the barrel brake, cut it in half, put a whole bunch of PVC in it, and you got yourself a monster. Operating the Panther shotgun is relatively easy. It's got magic PVC barrels on it. These are rather old and honestly, they're kind of hard to work with. They do in fact work, but loading them isn't too smooth. You can load multiple shots into each one of these, but it's rather tricky. Loading one dart, however, is extremely easy. You just drop a dart in there and in there, and then you just close the breach over the dart. And then you pump it up quite a few times. Of course, you can pump it up a lot, but pump it up too much and you risk blowing the tanks. And that went through my dart catch. With just that amount of pumping, this thing hits stupidly hard. This thing can snipe people at caliber ranges. That is the joy of air-powered blasters. And once you put multiple shots into it, it's 
absolute, ah, uh, just watch. So just to start, a few shots with the original unmodded stock barrel brake. Honestly, with how quick and easy this thing is to reload, that's an acceptable distance with some slight angled shots. Four darts, two per barrel from Bobololo's Panther shotgun. They're a bit difficult to get in here. I wanted to do six, but without some kind of assistance or a brand new breach here, it's just not going to work. They just barely fit in there. Pump it up as much as possible. and send it. If there was anybody down there, they're done. There, there's pretty much no way they could have dodged that. And that was only with four darts. That wasn't even as full as this tank could have gotten. Let's see how she handles two worker darts. I'm probably gonna have to angle this one down a little bit. No, that's, that's just silly. That wasn't even, again, close to full. I'm not even trying to overfill the tank. Yeah, this thing was firing more dart heads than darts at that point, and that's definitely down to these breaches. They are removable. I could make new ones, and I kind of plan to. There's some other things about this blaster that could be done differently. The pump works, but kind of the biggest issue is that there's a lot of flex on it, unfortunately, because of the angle you're pumping. So you kind of have to hold it more up there, which isn't exactly optimal because of the shape. So I would probably change that. You could even put in like a dual stage pump in this thing and get faster pumping out of it. And all of this exposed tubing, back when they made this thing, I guess they couldn't find any other fittings. So they used these absolutely monstrously huge fittings that could be replaced with something much smaller and probably keep all this tubing inside the actual blaster. But the most impressive part is the trigger linkage. Not only is the trigger still really satisfying to click, but it also sets off both tanks at the same time, which as Bobo said in the original video, took Nerfomania a very long time to develop. This is the kind of blaster that you load up, pump up and holster. And basically it's your secondary. Whenever you see something downrange that you don't wanna try to shoot at with a single shot, you can take two shots or four shots or six shots or eight shots, whatever have you, and just basically send a hail fire of darts in one trigger pull down range. And that is what shotguns are really good for. You need something powerful that can also send a lot of darts down range at once. It doesn't really matter if this thing takes a long time to load up. It's meant to pretty much be used once and then put away until you have a safe time to reload it. And the reason I have this thing is because on Bobo's Sunday Fun Day stream, where he streams every Sunday, he mentioned casually that he was looking at selling this while he was cleaning his workshop. And 12 of you messaged me on six different social media platforms saying, hey, Bobo Lolo's thinking about selling his Panther shotgun. And obviously you guys know me well because I have mentioned this blaster and wanted it for a very long time. And even more lucky for me is I stream every Saturday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the Saturday night stream thing. And that week I had made a ton of money in donations thanks to you guys. So I threw all of that at Bobo and he accepted the sucker and sent this thing off to me. And I couldn't be happier. You have no idea how good it feels to see something, have it inspire your entire channel, everything you want to do in the hobby, and then manage to get your hands on it. I would have paid more. But the biggest question is, where do we go from here? I'm a little scared to open this thing up because God knows if I'll ever be able to get this thing back together. I, I, even looking at it, I don't even know how you would take this thing apart because it's got globs of epoxy putty and everything all over seam lines. I don't think this thing was ever meant to kind of come back apart. Maybe you could pull these things out of these fittings around. I have no idea, but there are some changes I would like to make, starting with the breaches. 
PVC is great, it's cheap, but it's not the most effective. I would swap these out in a heartbeat for either pet G or better yet, brass barrels, because that will make a much smoother, faster loading experience. Doing this just, just sucks. And of course you can just rip them all the way out, stuff darts in there and put them back in, but I'd love to be able to comfortably load six darts into this thing, no problem whatsoever. In fact, I think they need to be a bit longer, ironically enough. And that pump, dual stage pump, why the heck not? I'd probably make it more like an angled foregrip because doing this isn't very comfortable for me. I'd rather have something that I can go like that with. And cosmetically, this thing is a mess. I'm not dissing on all of the Sharpie marks that Boba left on here and tried to get rid of some of the more uh, profane things. Honestly, for being PVC and a hacked up barrel break, it's not all that bad, but I think more could be done. Even though I like this kind of exposed tubing because it makes it look more like a sci-fi blaster, there are things that could be done to it. And I kind of want your guys' opinion on this one. Should I touch this blaster in any way? Should I modify it? change out the breaches and everything like that and give it a new lease on life. It even has an air leak somewhere that I would like to fix. Or should I leave it as is and just put it on a shelf, admire it, maybe shoot Luchathor with it every once in a while. You know, the good stuff. I'll leave its fate up to you. So please let me know down in the comment section what I should do with this blaster and stay subscribed because we'll probably see this thing again very, very soon. But it doesn't get any better than that. Thank you very much, Boba Lolo, for selling this to me. Thank you very much, Nerfomania, for helping him build it. And thank you very much to all the people who donate and, of course, my patrons who made the purchase of this possible. Nerfers, supporting nerfers, fulfilling dreams. I'm so happy right now. That was a dread bolt falling off the top of my shelf for absolutely no reason. Please make sure you check out the Raid Shadow Legends link down in the description below. But of course, I'm Walcom i7. Thank you so very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up, up.